It is the baby to the baby of the blue bottle, which is the baby bottle. So it's the baby to the baby bottle, which is technically a pacifier. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Archie Beats and I'm here to help. And today we're talking about microphones. Microphones are one of the most important elements and key essentials in our home studio. And sometimes it can be very difficult picking out the right microphone for your home studio solution, especially when it comes to vocals. So today I'm discussing my top five microphones for under $300. And yes, you heard me right. You can get a great quality record, professional sounding record for under $300. And how I know this, I didn't start out with my Norman U87, my TLM-103 and my Rode NTK. I really didn't. I started with a $100 microphone. And a few of those songs that I recorded on a $100 microphone made it to Radio. Yes, a program director approved it. And yes, DJs approved it to go in their mix on FM radio and satellite radio. Sirius XM Shade 45 to be exact. And as a side note, every microphone that I mentioned in this video, as well as all the gear in my home studio is listed below on my Amazon influencer page. So guys, check that out and um, see if there's some cool gear on there that can help you on your creative journey. Quick disclaimer, before we jump into these microphones, I do not discuss any equipment on on my channel as far as giving you guys advice on it unless I've used it myself. It's just not right to do that. And on this channel, my channel, integrity is very important. Yes, YouTube channel should have core value. And for this video, we will only be discussing XLR condenser microphones, not USB, unfortunately, but some of these microphones like the AT2020 and the NT1 has USB option. And before we jump into boys and girls, we're gonna cover four key highlights on each one of these microphones. First key highlight, what is this microphone best used for? The second key highlight is the polar pattern. The third highlight, the frequency response. And the last key highlight is the max SPL, which is the sound pressure level. How much can it take? Let's go ahead and dive into the first microphone, which is the first microphone I've ever used. If you guys watched the last microphone video, 2017, that is the Audio-Technica AT2020. Now this little microphone is $99. It's actually a really great microphone. I would not a lot of you guys. The microphone that I was telling you guys about that I had songs on radio that a program director and DJs approved of it to be on FM radio and Sirius XM Shade 45. Those vocals were recorded on the AT2020 and I used to get a lot of demos at the radio station where artists would purchase from Guitar Center and I asked them what microphone they used. It would be an AT2020. Look at all the reviews on Sweetwater, Guitar Center. Just don't take my word for it. Now this microphone to me is best used for vocals. Vocals is what most of you guys are going to be using it for in the studio in anyway and some of you guys can use it for a guitar it's just a great microphone the polar pattern is cardioid which you get a little bit of that heart shape action there you get a little bit on the side but mainly at the front the frequency response is 20 hertz all the way up to 20k most people don't hear past 16k so we're good in that department and the max spl is 144 decibels it's actually a really great microphone guys if you have a hundred dollar budget this is the microphone that i suggest it's 99 dollars and it's an awesome microphone and the next microphone is the Blue Spark SL. And the price of this microphone is $199. You can actually get it on sale for $179 to $169 sometimes on Amazon. This microphone is really great for vocals and also you can use it to go on your guitar cabinet. If you guys are guitar players out there or if you have an instrument with a cabinet in front of it such as a keyboard amp or bass amp, this microphone is really great for that. The polar pattern is cardioid. And the frequency response is the same as the AT2020 which is 20 hertz all the way up to 20 k and we already discussed how well we can all hear. And the max SPL level is four decibels shy of the AT2020, but you don't need to be putting that much loud noise in there anyway. It comes in at a whopping 136 decibels. And the next microphone is the Rode NT1A. This honestly is one of my favorite microphones. I own the Rode NTK. I've used the NT1 a few times and it sounded great. It actually sounded close to my NTK, which I paid about $999 for it when it first came out. It's been kicking for 10 years. Rode has really great product. And this 
microphone is a whopping $269. The reason why it's $269 because it comes with the kit. I prefer the one with the black kit. You get a lot for the bang. You get the pop filter up front, the shock mount, and it's just a great setup overall. For you to get that much and that one package is great. I used to work at Guitar Center about 10 years ago when I was engineering. I had multiple jobs, guy. I was like the male version of Barbie. I had so many jobs. I was a road engineer, <laughs> radio tech and engineer, and working at GC and going to fix amps and stuff all the time. I really loved this stuff when I first kicked out. You couldn't tell me anything. But anyway, the Rode is best used for vocals. If you have two of them, you can stereo pair up and do some room mics or something over drums or a guitar amp, just experiment with it. This is a great experimental microphone. It has that great Rode signature warmth to it. It's just awesome. And the polar pattern for this microphone is cardioid. And of course, as all the other microphones, the frequency response is 20 hertz to 20K. And the max SPL level seems like the more we go up in dollars, it comes down. And the max SPL level on that is 132 decibels. Don't push anything too hard on your microphones anyway, because you're gonna get that crazy distorted sound. And the next microphone is a shocker to you guys, because I've never mentioned this product on my channel, not even in the last microphone video. It's the Aston Origin microphone. I'm seeing this microphone pop up all over the place. I was in LA a couple of times, and one of my partners used this microphone. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it sounds really great. And the Aston Origin comes in at a whopping $200 $269 as well as the NT1, but the only difference is it doesn't come with that beautiful pop filter and shock mount on it. This microphone is best used for vocals. Of course, you can add it to a guitar body or something like that, but I prefer it more on vocals. The polar pattern on this microphone is cardioid. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20K, as all the other microphones, we need all of that. And the max SPL level on this microphone is 127 decibels. And for the fifth microphone, guys, it's actually a tie between these two microphones. And it's a shocker, it's between the Shure SM27 and the Blue Microphone Bluebird. I actually just started using the Shure SM27 and I fell in love with the microphone. Vocally, it's a great microphone in the $300 range. Shure has always been like the master of the microphone, whether it's in a studio, radio station, or the SM57, the SM58, which if you guys watched my video last year, when we had the event with Ed Sharon, when I asked him what microphone he used, he's using a sure microphone, a dynamic microphone. That's his favorite microphone ever. You guys be sure to check that video out when you get an opportunity. But first we're gonna tackle the Shure SM27. Like I said, this microphone is king at vocals. It's just a great sounding microphone. Shure does a great job with that. Um, and you can also use it for guitar bodies and woodwind and string instruments. The polar pattern for the SM27 is cardioid. And the frequency response for this microphone is the standard 20 hertz to 20K, which is awesome. The max SPL level for this microphone is, we went up a little bit more, it's 133 decibels. Now let's run along and go over here to the Blue Microphone Bluebird. Of course, this microphone is a great vocal microphone as well. It is the baby to the baby of the blue bottle, which is the baby bottle. So it's the baby to the baby bottle, which is technically a pacifier. But this is a really great microphone for vocals as I discussed. You can also use it for guitar cabinets and string instruments and things like that. And even brass instruments, I've heard it used on the trumpet before and it sounded great. It captured those valves, it's just an awesome microphone. The polar pattern is cardioid. And we do get that default 20 hertz to 20K of course. And the max SPL level on this Bluebird, we went up some more guys, they gave us a little bit more. It's 133 decibels. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up for our awesome top five microphones under 300 bucks today. I really do appreciate you guys for watching and I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. As I stated before, I will not be discussing these microphones if I haven't used them before. Really guys, you are really great off with either of these microphones, whatever budget you have. But just keep in mind, when you pay a little extra for a microphone, you are getting better material, you are getting a better dynamic range, frequency response. You're also getting, in some cases, customer service. But I do know some companies where you spend thousands of dollars and the customer service is absolutely horrible. I'm not gonna call any names, but you guys know how it is out there in the audio world but you guys are truly amazing i really do appreciate you guys for helping me on this audio journey i really want to get that information out there to you guys and i want you guys to give me as much information as possible remember guys stay creative learn as much as you possibly can don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a nice thumbs up follow me on instagram at archie beats and twitter at archie beats you guys are absolutely phenomenal i really do appreciate it this is your boy archie beats and i'm signing off